Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Red Hat Summit 2018. Brought to you by Red Hat. Hey, welcome back everyone. This is theCUBE, we're live in San Francisco, California, here at Moscone West, Red Hat Summit 2018. I'm John Furrier, co-host of theCUBE. We've got three great guests, exciting segment. We're looking at the, the future of computer programming, the youth in our generation, the young minds, and, the, and the, the award winners here at Red Hat Summit. Our three guests are Lee Day, Vice President of Marketing and Communications at Red Hat, Ellie Galloway Jewel with Jewelbots, and Sarah Chips, CTO at Jewelbots. Thanks for spending the time and coming on, I really appreciate it. Love this story because you know, I always, as a computer person, I always love you know, getting nerdy, but now nerd is the new cool. So get, starting young and coding, is not just for guys anymore, it's for everybody. So congratulations on your success. Take a minute to explain what's happened here, because the folks watching don't know what happened yesterday. You guys were featured at part of Open Source Stories. Lee, talk about the story. So about three years ago, uh, the Red Hat Marketing Communications Group decided that they needed a passion project, something that would make them feel more energized about coming to work and not just selling products, but telling genuine stories about people. And we started our Open Source Stories film series, and that has turned into Open Source Stories Live as well. So yesterday we brought awesome stories like Jewelbots to our stage to tell the story of uh, ch children and others getting involved in coding, um, and the, Ellie and Femi on our stage talked about how people should code for good, and we really love that message and applaud that. And coding is so social because it's fun. So talk about Jewelbots and, and what's happening here. So how did it get started? and then I'll go into some specific questions for the young future star here. <laughs> Sarah, how did, how did it all get started? Yeah, so Jewelbots got started out of a desire to make a product for young girls to get them excited about coding. So we talked to about 200 girls and we asked them what was interesting to them and over and over from them we heard that their friendships are really important to them. And so we talking to them about a bracelet that lights up when your friends are nearby and you can use it to send secret messages, they got really excited. And so that's what we built and we made it open source so they would code it as well. How did it all get started? What was the motivation? What motivated you to take on this project? Good question. So I've been a software developer for 17 years. Um, I was five years into my career before I worked with another woman and it was another five years after that before I worked with another one. So I really, um, you know, I've loved this career and I wanted to figure out a way to get more women excited about doing it. So talking to my male peers, I heard from them that they started about middle school age and so um, I wanted to find something for girls that would also inspire them in that way. That's awesome, thank you so much for doing that. I love the story, it's super important. Now, how did you get involved? You just love programming, you wake up one day and say, hey, I love the programming, how did you get involved? Um, well, first, me and my dad, my dad works for Microsoft, he helped me code a game in Unity. And so I love coding games so much that later he showed me Minecraft make code. And so I got involved in that. By then, I kind of knew how to code and everything. So. I only asked my dad for help if I absolutely needed it. And then, um, since my dad knew Sarah Chips from Microsoft, he um, showed me Toolbot one day when I got home from school, and I've been on my own um, programming since then. So Having fun? I am. It's What's the favorite thing about coding that you like? I, I love solving problems, and so solving problems is probably my favorite part in coding. I solve a lot of problems and inventions, um, tiny ones, and just kind of figuring things out. Did you get all your friends involved? Did you spread it around to your friend group? I am getting some friends involved. Uh, in my YouTube channel, I have um, someone I uh, yeah, shared Jewelbot with and showed how to code. And yeah, and at school, at my next school, I'm going to create a Jewelbots club and I'm hoping I can get a lot of people to join. So is it fun? Jewelbot fun? I mean, how does it work? So how does the Jewelbot work? So I wear a bracelet and then it lights up. I mean, so tell me, how does the code work? Is it an IO sensor in the front end? But what, how does it work? It works by um, Bluetooth. Do you mean friendship coding mode or? Friendship uh, coding mode. Okay, friendship coding mode. Yeah, you use Bluetooth for friendship coding mode. Um, you pair Jewelbots together, and it's pretty simple. You don't need a program. You can start right away without any program, and it already has a default on it. So 
Yeah. Um, Does and it integrate with Snapchat yet? Because that would be a great geofence feature if I had like a <laughs> jewel bot with Snapchat integration. You can communicate by vibrates, but there's not a Snapchat picture. Not yeah. yet. We'll get we're going on. We'll make sure we get that back and I'll get my daughter involved to jump in. Talk about the community aspect. I love this story because what it does is it makes it fun. You don't want coding to be like eating spinach or you know taking out the trash and sweeping the you know the, the, the floor up. You want to make it fun, right? Yeah. I mean, kids want to make it fun, and gaming is key. How did it? When did you start clicking with you, Sarah? How did it come? You know, when did it start getting momentum? Yeah, well, I think one thing that we look, realize is coders, like coding doesn't have to be a lonely activity. It doesn't have to be just one person sitting in a basement coding. It could be really anyone. And it's such a social thing, you know? All coders are self-taught and we all learn from each other. So um, having the ability to have a community you could reach out to that are excited yeah. to help you and that kind of thing was a really important part of what we were building. So you guys were on stage. So talk about the, what happened here physically. Folks didn't get to see it or they might get to see it online after on the replay. You guys were out on stage. Did you do like a demo? What, tell, tell us what happened on stage. We had a whole afternoon session that was focused on showcasing collaboration, uh, young people coding, STEM. Uh, we had a group from our CoLab uh, alumni come on stage and talk about their experiences with CoLab, uh, programming Raspberry Pis to take pictures. These are middle school girls. We've done programs with them all over the East Coast. Uh, then we had our CMO talk about his open source experience. We had op uh, Women in Open Source Awards. And then Sarah and Ellie came out and, and told the audience about JewelBots. And it was just an opportunity to shine a light on their awesome project and to showcase young women doing great things and showing women that they should have the confidence to, to code alongside. Yeah, I mean, great one. program. How does someone get involved? How can someone get involved with Red Hat's Open Stories and your community with JewelBots development? What can you guys share for locations or a web app? Is there something they can get involved in? How does someone get involved? Well, Red Hat, we have seven open source stories films that people can go online and, and watch. Uh, but then if there's an idea for an open source story, open source stories at redhat.com is a way to contribute to that. Uh, but we're always thinking about new ideas, taking contributions, and, and love to hear about these stories. We'd love Sarah, to Sarah, how do they get involved in the Jewel Bus? So anyone else watching might be inspired by this awesomeness that you guys have going on here. Great practice, I love how you're doing this. How do they get involved with what you're doing? So if you have young girls in your life, um, jewelbots.com, amazon.com, target.com is all where you can get jewelbots. If you don't and you uh, know some people that do, a lot of people have started hosting events around jewelbots. So if people in your office might have daughters and they might be interested in something like that, that's something that we help people do as well. That's great. Ellie, what's your, what's your thoughts on all this, this uh, celebrity status you have? <laughs> your YouTube followers are going to go through the roof now. Um, yeah, since yesterday, I've had over 75 new followers. Wow. And so, yeah, it's amazing. It's, can she say the name of her YouTube channel? Yeah, of course. Um, LEG Jewelbots. LEG Jewelbots, we'll get to promote it. Make sure it's on the screen. Guys, great program, I'm so excited for you. That's amazing, don't stop, it gets better. <laughs> More fun every time. When you build cool stuff, it's magical. And tell all your friends, great stuff. Lee, thanks so much for doing this great, thanks for great program. Us. Thanks, thanks for, for coming us. on. It's a Cube Live here, a really inspirational moment here. Getting everyone started at a young age really kind of opens the aperture of all people, all diversity, inclusion and diversity. Really critical part of the, of the community paying it for. Of course, the Cube's doing our part here. We'll be back with more live coverage after this short break.